Hello, my name is Dr. April Armstrong. I'm Professor of Dermatology and Associate Dean for Clinical Research at the University of Southern California. Today, I talked about breakthrough in psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis treatment. And specifically, I talked about ducravacitinib, upadacitinib, and bimikizumab. So let's start with ducravacitinib. Ducravacitinib was recently FDA approved as a oral once daily dosing six milligram for our patients with moderate to severe plaque psoriasis, and it's approved in adults. And it's important to know that in the clinical trials, ducravacitinib was shown to be superior in terms of clinical efficacy compared to apremolas as well as placebo. Importantly, it also showed a good safety profile where the laboratory parameters were very similar when it's compared to placebo and apremolast. Few things to note about ducravacitinib in terms of its laboratory monitoring. Uh, essentially, in the beginning, you do need to evaluate patients for tuberculosis before starting, uh, but other than that, there's no required laboratory monitoring at initiation unless the patient also has suspected or known liver disease. And now with the advent of ducravacitinib, I think both our patients as well as clinicians will find we now have a therapy that is both strong in terms of efficacy as well as having a demonstrated safety profile that will go a long ways in terms of controlling psoriasis in our patients. The second medication that I talk about was upadacitinib. Now, we know upadacitinib is approved for atopic dermatitis, so why am I talking about it in terms of psoriatic diseases? Well, it's not yet approved for psoriasis, but it is approved for psoriatic arthritis. And the dosing for that is 15 milligrams daily. It's important to know that upadacitinib has been shown to reduce psoriatic arthritis signs and symptoms in the clinical trials, as well as preventing radiographic progression. So it is an important tool that we as dermatologists want to keep in mind uh, in terms of the treatment for psoriatic arthritis. Now, the final one that's not yet available in the U.S., but is already approved in Europe, is bimikizumab. Bimikizumab is an IL-17 inhibitor. It is unique in that it inhibits both IL-17A as well as IL-17F. Now, we have three-year efficacy data with bimikizumab. And what it showed is that if you were a responder in the first place, the likelihood of you maintaining that response, and specifically a body surface area, 1% or less, is over 90%. So this shows a medication, an IL-17 inhibitor, bimikizumab, having long-term maintenance of efficacy over time. For bimikizumab, another thing that was recently revealed is its phase three psoriatic arthritis data, and this is very important. And what was found was that when we were looking at ACR50, or at least 50% improvement in the joint signs and symptoms, about 43% of patients on bimikizumab achieved ACR50 compared to about 6 to 7% on the placebo. So this is very exciting news in terms of psoriatic arthritis data for bimikizumab, and we will continue to watch its development here in the U.S. And lastly, when we look at the safety profile of bimikizumab over three years, we also see a reassuring safety profile where we do not see an increase, for example, in oral candidiasis rates. And with that, hopefully you got an update on the breakthrough in psoriasis and psoriatic arthritis treatments.